Okay, this is just a a quick follow-up to um, a post that I've just uh, put online about um, the CPU usage in Premiere Pro not hitting the 100% mark all of the time. Now, it's a pretty simple post, actually, and a very simple solution um, to anyone who's familiar with Premiere. But um, I thought I'd just do this quick um, vid just to support what I was saying, actually. So here's a um, very basic sequence very basic timeline of uh, just a piece of footage from uh, from last year and uh, we've got uh, just uh, some curves on here and an unsharp mask on there as well pretty straightforward so I'm going to just export that hang on a second export this in Premiere and set a basic uh, straightforward um, preset I don't know that one will do um, for some reason this was shot as uh, interlaced I can't remember why why that was done but uh, anyway it'll sort it out doesn't really matter for the purposes of this uh, destination's fine so okay so let's just go with that I'm not quite sure how we'll be affected here by the fact I'm doing a capture at the same time but let's just try it right so I open up the task manager now. What we'll see is that our utilization potters about a bit, basically, between 42 and 52%. A little bit higher there. But you can see that it's not really using all of the CPU. And how long does it actually say left? Seven minutes, 20, something like that. So let's cancel that. And what I suggested in the post is you just click on Q here to add to the media encoder Q. And that's just opening up now. And we've got the same, <clears throat> same preset there. It's carried over the preset. And we'll do it as the same, same file name. And then just start the encode. We've got our preview down the bottom. And if I go to the task manager now, well, there we go. I'm not even sure if the capture will still be happening with a CPU usage like that. But, um, yeah, remaining. 3 minutes 27. Point proven, I think, there. So I hope that's useful. Bye for now.